Are you finding the new module socket system is a little confusing? Then stick around and check this out. What's going on everybody? Thanks to a YouTuber, Real Asian Robot, he explained this system perfectly. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. Please make sure to subscribe to his channel and check out his content. The way the system works, it works both on weapons and descendants. Under my During Legacy, in setting one, you can see that I have my setup with all the modules. The top area here shows you the modules in place. The bottom area, if I select this, shows you the module slots as well as the sockets. I'm ready to level this gun up again, so I'm going to apply a crystallization catalyst to it. Now remember, anytime you apply a catalyst to a weapon or a descendant, it's automatically reset to level one. So in the better concentration module slot, I'm going to apply the crystallization catalyst. This has now got the Almadine. And as you can see, it's been cut in half. Now, if you go to the other settings, you will see that none of those module slots are there, or aren't they? If we come back down here and we select this area, you will see the Almadine slot is actually there, and it's very simple to add. By selecting on the module slot, all you have to do is select it and confirm, and now it's an Almadine slot. Let's say I want a different build than my build over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have the game select my modules. So we'll just equip these. Okay, so here's the build the game setup for us. But let's say I don't want rifle and reinforcement. So I'm going to remove that module. All right, let's say I want fire priority and I add that. As you can see, the number went up because it's not the correct socket type. To eliminate that, I can just go into here, select this module, in this case, where I added the Almadine, I can actually take the Malachite out and confirm. Then when I go back, it makes it a normal slot, and I'm not taking a penalty. You can have your bossing builds, you can have your mobbing builds, you can even have these builds you want to test and move modules in and out without taking a penalty, or maybe you can swap out that socket type because you might have multiple sockets applied there. So to recap, anytime you add a crystallization catalyst to a weapon or a descendant, they automatically reset to level one. You assign a module slot, but you're not limited to that module slot simply by the fact you can remove it at any time and make it a blank slot. You can also add multiple socket types to these slots. As a reminder, I do stream on Twitch on Wednesday and Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern and Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. So if you have any questions, stop on by and ask them. I'm usually with the group that can answer them if I can't. I also have a Discord, which is a link in my description below. You can join that and ask questions in there as well. As always, I do appreciate you watching this video. If you'd like the video, please consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell, leaving a like, and a comment below of what you think of this video or what you'd like to see in future videos. Now that we've cleared up the module socket secret, you should check out this video on another hidden secret in the first Descendant.